Hi, my name is Katie Hilbert, and I'm the Center Director at the Sylvan Learning Center of La Mesa. And I'm here today with another Sylvan short to give you a foolproof way to factor quadratic equations. Now, there's multiple methods for factoring quadratic equations, but when there is a leading coefficient or a number right in front of the x squared, things can get a little bit more complicated. So this is a great way to use a systematic approach rather than having to guess and check multiple times throughout the process. So we'll start here by drawing a tic-tac-toe board like I've done, and we'll use the numbers from the problem to help us get started. In the first space here, we're going to put our a value, or the number that's right next to the x squared. Our second column, we'll put our b value, or the number right next to the x, and our third column will be the product of a and c, or our first and last number. In this case, 6 times negative 10 gives us negative 60. Now our next step is to focus on these two boxes, and we want to find two numbers that multiply to give us negative 60, but that add to give us 11. Now, I know if two numbers are being multiplied to make a negative, that I'll need one negative and one positive number. But if my sum is positive, then the bigger of those two numbers needs to be positive. In this case, 15 times four gives me 60, but in order to make it negative 60, I'll change that to a negative four. Now our next step, we're going to focus on this box here and we want to find the greatest common factor of the other two corners. Now both six and four are divisible by two, but no other bigger numbers. So I'll put a two in this corner. Now we just need to fill in the rest of the boxes. And we'll do that by creating several multiplication sentences. We'll start by going up in our first column and two times what equals six. So I know the number three completes that multiplication sentence. Now let's do the final two boxes by moving horizontally. Three times what gives me 15. I can plug in the number five there. Three times five is 15. And our final box, two times what gives me negative four. I know that negative two is my answer. Now once we have all the boxes filled in, we're going to circle these two diagonals. And these will be the numbers we'll use to figure out the factored form of our original quadratic. So I'll start by writing 3x minus 2, then 2x plus 5. And problem solved. So here is a systematic way to take a quadratic equation and rewrite it as factored form. Let us know if there's any other strategies you've found helpful uh, when working with quadratic equations.